Hey everybody, uh, this uh, math two lesson for our class is uh, the leaning tower of uh, the leaning tower. So, uh, anyways, this is your practice assignment for math two. Okay, um, uh, I want to remind you guys. I don't. I don't know if your program teaches you this. You guys, I call it uh, Sakatoa. So if you know how to spell Sakatoa. Um, and if you want a silly gimmick, uh, it's something like this. Some old hippie caught another hippie picking old apples. There's another inappropriate way to say that. I'm not going to say that. But some old hippie caught another hippie taking old apples. Um, and what that means is um, uh, the sine equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, and so it's of the acute angles of a right triangle. We'll get to that in just a second. So there's some leaning towers all over the world. Some are built that way, and and others uh, have started to tilt over the centuries. I'm heard of you. I'm sure you've heard of the leaning tower of Pisa, and um, I always said the leaning tower of Pizza. But the Leaning Tower of Pisa in, in Italy. Um, and so um, use what we know about triangles and trig, sine, cosine, tangent, uh, to help us find the keys that we're going to accidentally drop from the top. So uh, so let's select a tower to um, that we're going to climb like they're going to let us. But <laughs> um, uh, that's a pretty cool tower. I, I, um, I, I picked this one, though, the, the Capital Gate uh, in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, so let's pick this one right here. So which tower did we select? So this is a free point. We're going to pick uh, the Capitol Gate Tower, okay? And so we're going to draw a sketch of that tower. And so um, I'm going to draw it the other way. I don't know why I did. I wish I had drawn it this way, but my, my right triangle is going to be this guy, except I'm going to draw it the other way. So I'm going to draw this leg going down and then this piece going down here. So um, uh, label the height and the angle that it makes with the ground. Okay, so it talks about it up here. So this is built in, in 2011. The Capitol Gate Tower is 150 meters tall. So that's this height right here, 150 right here. Okay, and it makes a 72 degree angle with the ground. So that's this angle right here, a 72 degree angle. So if we're gonna climb to the top, so if we climb up here and then accidentally drop some keys down here, how far is it from the base uh, where those keys land and shatter and break? And Anyway, so which tower? We're going to select uh, the Capitol Gate. There's one point, and we're going to label the heights and all of that stuff, okay? So there's one point right there for the selection. Oh, boy, that was hard. Uh, and we had the other ones. We could have done uh, the leading tower of Pisa or that Montreal one, the Olympic Stadium Tower. Um, uh, they're all the same. They just have different heights and different angles, but they give us all the same right triangle. Okay, so here's my leaning tower right here at the Capitol Gate Tower. It's leaning. I know it's leaning that way, but we pretend like we're on the other side and looking at it this way. Okay, so... This is our height, this is the 150 meters, and then this is our 72 degree angle, okay? So here it is right there. And then, um, okay, so we did all that and labeled all that. All right, what are we doing now? So now um, we're gonna drop, accidentally drop our keys from the top of the tower and fall straight down to the ground. So uh, we want to know how far from the base of the tower the keys land, okay? We're gonna draw a right triangle. That's gonna help us solve that problem. Uh, and label the triangle and everything. So, okay, so here's that capital gate tower. So I'm going to draw this right triangle right here. So I'm going to put this 150 right here, and we're looking for this length right here. It's because the keys are going to fall down right here, and so we're looking for that length right there. And then this would be called the hypotenuse of that triangle right there, okay? So um, uh, we're going to, let's go ahead and draw that. Here it is. Okay, so there's the 72 degree angle, and we're gonna put, we're looking for this length right here. This is what the length. How far is it from um, from the base of that tower right there? Okay, so use what we know uh, with respect to this angle right here, and what sides uh, do we know? Well, we know the opposite side. Okay. So on what side are we looking for? We're looking for the adjacent side. This one's called the hypotenuse right here. So we're going to say 
uh, the known side is the 150, so that's the opposite side. And then the unknown side that we're looking for is our adjacent side. So uh, they wanted us to uh, fill those in as adjacent, opposite, or hypotenuse. Okay, so there's, there's another point right there. So uh, what trig ratio are we going to use for this? Okay, so remember we have Sakatoa right here. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. I'm not using the hypotenuse, so we can get rid of the hypotenuses. So it's not sine or cosine. It's going to be tangent. So we're going to use the tangent ratio with this angle and these two sides. Here's the opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. So what ratio? We're going to use the tangent ratio. So the tangent of that 72 degrees is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So I'm going to write the tangent of 72 equals 150 over x. Okay, now let's get the tangent of 72. Now when you do this, you guys, make sure that your calculator is in the correct mode. Um, that your calculator has three modes for this. It's either in degrees, which what we want because this is degrees. Um, it could be in radians, which is uh, when we get later into the more advanced trigonometry stuff on the unit circle, or it could be in gradients, and I forgot what gradients mean. So we want to make sure it's in degrees. So when we hit the tangent of 72, please make sure that yours uh, says 3.078. That means you are in degrees. Okay, now since I have a fraction over here, I'm going to make a fraction over here. I don't know how your book suggested to do it. This is how I teach it. And then we have a fraction equals a fraction. It's called a proportion when that happens, and we can cross multiply. So this times this equals this times this. So that's what I'm going to do right here. And then now uh, we need to get the x all by itself. So if we divide both sides by 3.078, then cancel out and we get how far are those keys from the base? They are 48.738 meters right there. Okay. All right. So now here's another thing. So an ant is going to walk a uh, uh, we're to walk straight down the edge from the top of the tower. So here's my tower right here. And so the ant is going to walk straight down this slanty edge. He's going to walk, 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 and take him all day to walk down that tower. Um, uh, which trig ratio are we going to use now? Now, so we're looking at this right here. Okay, we're looking for the hypothesis right here so so this is going to be the hypotenuse and let's use the 150 again okay so I have the sine uh, is opposite over hypotenuse the sine is and look for we want here's the angle here's the opposite we're going to use the 150 and we're going to use the hypotenuse so here's the angle opposite hypotenuse opposite hypotenuse says sine we're going to use sine all right, so that's our trig ratio right there. Let's go ahead and do our calculation. So the sine of 72 equals 150 over y. Again, I'm going to punch in 72 in my calculator, and I'm going to make it over 1. Okay, so here it is over 1 right there. Now we can cross multiply. And after we cross multiply, divide both sides by 0.951. And how far is that ant going to walk? It's going to walk 157.72. Okay, now if we didn't use the sine ratio. They want us to do check it uh, uh, that this also gives us. Um, uh, that we're going to check using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's find this length using the Pythagorean theorem. We know it's that. Well, let's use the Pythagorean theorem. This squared plus this squared, and we'll call this h equals h squared, and it should get us uh, 157.72. So this squared plus this squared equals h squared. And we're just checking this. That's what it's asking us to do, to check. Uh, whoops, I forgot to see how many points this was. Well, you can see. Um, anyway, so so 150 uh, squared and then 48.74 squared are those numbers, and we add them together, and then that equals h squared. So we square root that. And we get, look, we get uh, pretty close, 157.71997, which is it rounds to 0.72. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so let's see, what else are we doing? Okay, so now one more. So the Leaning Tower of Niles is in Illinois, and it's a replica of the famous Leaning Tower of Pizza. Uh, Pisa, sorry, <laughs> old habit. Um, uh, and it was completed in 1934. It's going to be the same triangle, just with these measurements. So this is going to be 94 feet down instead of 150 meters. 
and the angle is going to be 85. And we're going to drop our keys from this and how far from the base, same kind of thing. Okay, so here's uh, the Leaning Tower of Nile. So it's 100, it's 94 uh, feet tall. And then this angle right here, the leaning the angle makes it with 85. So there's our triangle. And we're looking for that bottom piece. So again, this is a tangent ratio. So let's go ahead and do the tangent ratio. Punch in the tangent at 85.5. You should get 12.7061. Cross multiply and divide. And so we're going to get uh, that our keys are 7.4 feet away from the, the base of that tower. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And take care.